So uh, the Restore IMI2, the imipenem rolibactam uh, pneumonia trial, compared imipenem rolibactam to piperazinol and tazobactam, or Zosin as many of us know it, for the treatment of um, hospital acquired slash ventilator um, associated uh, bacterial pneumonia in ICU settings. And the bottom line was in this very sick population um, of uh, patients with um, severe pneumonia, and who uh, were quite ill from both chronic underlying illnesses as well as acute severity of illness indices, um, uh, imipenemoral bactam performed very well. It uh, was non-inferior to piperazole and tazobactam, and also importantly, it, um, it had a very good safety profile. So it was well tolerated and was effective. And I think the major take home message, and again, we have top line results only publicly available, but the main message is, this is a very welcomed, uh, interesting new option for the treatment of pneumonia, um, at least potentially. Um, it doesn't have the indication yet, but um, it's exciting because it, it performed very well compared to a standard um, agent that we use for the treatment of pneumonia. Well, I mean, I think some of the issues that um, go beyond just the clinical trial is imipenem relobactam has uh, unique niche activity against some of the resistant gram negatives. And the reason why it's niche is it definitely, the relobactam is a novel, rel relatively broad spectrum uh, beta-lactamase inhibitor that inhibits uh, KPCs, the Klebs yellow pneumonia carbapenemase. And interestingly, it also improves imipenem's activity against pseudomonas. Because it's a pretty powerful beta-lactamase inhibitor, relobactam can inhibit um, AMP-C um, uh, cephalosporinase, which um, is frequently, or in some cases, uh, produced in significant levels by pseudomonas, and also can inhibit other ESBLs that might be produced by pseudomonas. So I think that unique niche of uh, increased, uh, notable increased activities and restoring imipenem's activity not only against Enterobacteriaceae or not only against imipenem is truly unique. And I think when you're grabbing or selecting or thinking about an effective empiric agent in your patient who has risk factors for highly resistant pseudomonas and potentially CRE, I think imipenem relobactam is really um, a unique option and it's very welcomed.